Now, let's check out how one of our partners, Spatial, has teamed up with Mattel to build custom solutions using HoloLens and Microsoft 365 to make collaboration a more immersive experience. Let's head to the showcase floor. Thanks. Thank you, Rana. I'm excited to show you, our fellow developers, how we at Spatial have been able to enrich our existing holographic collaboration app with HoloLens 2, Azure Spatial Anchors, the Microsoft Graph, and Teams. We were really blown away by how quick and easy it was to use these simple APIs to make Spatial even more useful for our customers by leveraging the power of the Microsoft Graph that they are already running their businesses on. For example, we're going to show you how our customer Mattel ideates, designs, and collaborates across global borders on multiple brands that we all know and love, like Hot Wheels, Barbie, and Fisher-Price. Let's take a look. So I'm going to jump onto my PC here, and I'm already in a Teams channel. And I can see Amanda's posted some cool new content. But why don't we upgrade this to a live spatial meeting to get everyone on the same page? I'm actually just going to click over to the spatial tab in Teams and I get this really cool 3D dollhouse view. I'm going to click into the room where I can see everybody, but since I have a HoloLens 2 here, why don't I take this off a 2D screen into a 3D meeting? All I have to do is scan the QR code in the corner. I'm going to put on the device and scan the code. Here we go. Oops. Hey, Amanda, what's up? It looks like you're already in here. Yep, I'm here in my office also wearing a HoloLens 2. So you'll see me in the room show up as an avatar. And all of our content that you just saw from that Teams channel is already up here on the wall. You can even see some of the comments thanks to the Microsoft Graph API. Cool. And with the new finger hand tracking in HoloLens 2, it's so easy to quickly triage content. So I can quickly just grab a document off the wall and toss it right up there on our shared workspace so we can all take a look. And if I want Amanda to check out something, I can just pull it off the wall and toss it to her. What do you think of that one, Amanda? Wow, that looks great. And just to recap what happened here, I grabbed a holographic image on the wall as a real person in this room and threw it to an avatar who could be anywhere in the world. Wow, this is awesome. Now, with the new hand tracking capabilities in the Mixed Reality Toolkit, I can also have this cool new hand dock. So I'll just pull it up, and it lets me pull up content from a variety of locations, like my OneDrive. I'm just going to scroll the 3D models that are stored on it and select Sky Justice. There we go. And let's make this life size and zoom this up a little bigger. And you know, Amanda, I'm thinking, why don't we show off the new freehand annotation capabilities and give her some accessories? Absolutely. I think she really could use a bracelet and, of course, the finishing touch, a HoloLens. Everyone needs a HoloLens. Awesome. Oh, hey, Lynn. It looks like Lynn just joined. Hey, everyone. I love this. Joining from my PC, I'm still able to participate in the experience, even without a HoloLens. So are you ready to see what I've been working on? Yeah, let's check it out. Since I've joined from my laptop via the spatial tab in Teams you saw earlier, I can easily browse and upload content directly from my PC and upload it to the meeting. Check out this 3D model of a hover pack. Sweet. This is cool. You know, Amanda, since this is mixed reality, why don't you uh, jump in and give it a spin? Of course. Let's try it out. Wow, it's even cooler on the inside. Now, <laughs> now Sp Spatial's a hardware agnostic platform. You don't need just a headset to join the experience. Uh, to, let me invite Jacob onto the stage. Now he's going to show you how you can join from the device in your pocket. Oh, this is so dope. I love it. Great work, Lynn. With Azure Spatial Anchors, this mixed reality experience shares a map across HoloLens and AR Kit and AR Core. This means that I could have the most immersive experience on a HoloLens, or I can use this Android phone here to not only see what everyone else is seeing, but actively participate and modify the content as well. Nice. Thanks, guys. Solid meeting, and uh, really looking forward to showing this to the rest of the team tomorrow.
Now, if you haven't done so already, I would really encourage you to integrate your app with the Microsoft Graph. All we had to do to make this whole experience a reality for our customers like Mattel was connect with one simple unified API that leverages all the power of Microsoft 365. And developers, if you've been waiting to jump aboard the mixed reality train, now is the time because the HoloLens 2 is sweet. You can now reach out and touch holograms for the first time and it is so cool. Add on the power of Azure Spatial Anchors and you get the ability to extend your experience to any device. So AR developers can embrace AR regardless of the device they choose, whether it's HoloLens, mobile, or anything in between. All right, well, thank you for having us. And come experience us all firsthand at the Spatial Booth in Hall 4E. And back to you, Satya. Thank you so much.